So now I've found my four corners. I pull in my diagonal. The other direction that I've already done was 73 foot 8. And pulling this way, I've already I've got 73 foot 8. So this building, I've got my four corners and it's square. So now I'm ready to chalk line or string line of your preference. I prefer a chalk line. Give you a line on the concrete. I do my perimeter. So now I can pull my base spacings to start laying out my anchors on. So now we've chalk lined with uh, using our four corners and we've gone ahead and pulled off our base spacings to find out where they fall on the chalk line. So I've got my crow's foot here. On the prints earlier we showed that they were two and a half inches off the center line that came in ten inches. So what I have here is a carpenter square. I make myself a square line at that crow's foot using the chalk line as my reference point. Once that's done, I now have my frame line that my bolts need to go on. So pulling two and a half inches off this chalk line, and using my 10 inches of reference, I've got my 12 and a half, seven and a half. That gives you five inch center to center on your bolt holes. Circle them, and you're ready to drill them. As a, an additional tip, if you want to grab some clear coat, you can spray paint a couple feet on both sides and your points. That way if you go to set your legs and it's rained, your chalk line will still be there as a reference to make sure that your leg that you're standing is gonna be square with your building line. 